Hi, I'm Tim Giuliani with your Florida Chamber Daily Legislative Briefing. Today is day 50 of the 60-day legislative session. Yesterday, an online learning bill passed the second of two stops in the Senate on its way to the Senate floor for a vote. This would allow money to be taken from the Florida Education Finance Program and used to fund virtual charter schools. A seaports bill also passed its fourth of five stops in the Senate. This would make it easier and faster to get port permits in Florida, and it would also have the goal of increasing the import and export business through Florida. A commercialization matching grant program also passed its second of three committee stops in the Senate. This is designed to make it easier to open businesses in Florida. On to today. A state transportation trust fund rally will happen in the steps of the old Capitol beginning at 1 o'clock. We expect over 300 construction workers, highway construction workers, to be at the rally. And the Florida Chamber opposes cutting funds out of the state transportation trust fund. To learn more about this issue, visit floridachamber.com slash transportation. A rulemaking bill is also up in a Senate committee, the second of three stops. This requires agencies to review new rules to see if they create jobs and reduce the unemployment rate. And it also requires a state legislature when that test can't be passed by the agency for the legislature to ratify the new agency rules, which will create more certainty in the market for small businesses. McKay Scholarships is also open to Senate committee today. This expands opportunities for disabled students to attend either public or private school. The Florida Chamber will also be keeping a close eye on the Governor's office this week. He is until Thursday to sign two Florida Chamber-backed education proposals. The first is graduation standards, which would make sure that high school graduates have the skills they need to enter the workforce or begin college, and it will reduce the number of those remedial classes high school students now have to take before beginning college coursework. This will increase the value of diplomas in Florida. The second issue is tax credit scholarships. This would expand tax credits given to corporations that donate to nonprofit scholarships. We hope that Governor Christ signs both these bills into law. Please, as a reminder, take the survey of the daily legislative briefings, which is instructional for us for future planning. We also hope you'll join us tomorrow morning at floridachamber.com briefing.